Hello, what's up, guys? It's Dr. Mozam Tewana here, and in today's class, we are going to talk about what are the location areas and what are location area identifiers used to identify them. Now, as we discussed earlier, that the service area of a mobile network or a mobile operator is divided into the MSC areas. Uh, as many MSCs are there are in a, a mobile network. Uh, there are as many um, uh, mobile service uh, MSC areas. Now, each of these uh, M of these MSC areas is then further subdivided into location areas. For example, here one MSC area is further subdivided into uh, location areas and location area one, location area two, location area three, and location area four, and each of this location area can be made bigger or smaller if it is a bigger then you have more base stations in it and if it is smaller you have lesser base stations in it uh, now what are the implications of having bigger location areas and smaller location areas if location area is very small it contains one or two base station in that case whenever a mobile station will leave one location area and go to another location area it would basically notify the network that it has changed its location area so if the location areas are very small there would be frequent location area updates and the signaling load on the network would increase on the other hand if you go to the other extreme and location areas are made very big uh, in that case what would happen now, when a mobile is in idle state, that means it it has registered itself with the network earlier, but it is not in a call. In that case, the location of a mobile is known to the resolution of a location area. That network knows that my mobile is in this location area, but the network doesn't know that it is in the area of which base station. So what would happen? Then in that case, if there is a mobile for a, uh, there is a call for a mobile, for example, in location area number one, then the network needs to page all the base stations in that location area. So in that case also, the signaling load of paging on in on that location area increases. So our purpose is to reduce that signaling load. So the size of location area is a compromise between the paging load and the location area uh, update. Uh, signaling load and we uh, come up with intermediate sizes so that we have less signaling for both the location area update and the paging in case of a call now how these location areas are identified these location areas are basically each of these location area is given a location area code the location area code makes these location areas unique within an MSC area. But you know that mobile stations also roam into other operator areas or into other countries. So you have to make these location areas uh, unique globally so that roaming is possible. So what you do is that you add the uh, fields of mobile network code and mobile country code to the location area code and this makes the location area uh, code uh, is now called with the addition of these two uh, fields as location area identifier and this location area then becomes unique globally thanks to location area identifier so uh, here to summarize up that location area comprises of one and it can comprise of many base stations and the purpose de of defining these sizes is that we have less uh, signaling load for the paging when a mobile needs to be paged for an incoming call and we have less load for the case when uh, you have location area updates means a mobile moves from one base station to another base uh, one location sorry one location area to another location area and it updates its location area uh, information to the network so we come up with an intermediary size of location area so that uh, so that uh, these two signaling loads are uh, less and this location area is uh, basically broadcasted uh, when you talk about the base station in the uh, 
broadcast channel that is the BCCH channel on the BCCH channel of a base station its location area identifier or location area information is broadcasted.